I'm Joe DiGiulio, and I'm here with another free, exciting art lesson for you. Today, we're going to put the bling back into your acrylic paintings, and the way we're going to do that is by using these flow expression bottles. Now, as you can see here, I have a fi finished painting. I've already got it framed up. In and of itself, it looks pretty good. I'm pretty satisfied with it. But what I can do is I can step it up a notch by using these flow containers to actually put a little bit more of an exciting linear element into the work. I think of the painting, if you will, as, um, oh, getting dressed. But this part, putting the bling, the linear excitement back into it, is the last thing I do, and that is sort of like putting the jewelry on, thus the word bling. So, as you can see, I've had a pretty uh, wild, loose painting here, but because I added a little bit of linear excitement using the red flow paint here, it kind of lends itself to being a little bit more excited. So, I've got some basic paintings here. I'm going to set that off to the side, and I'm going to just take a piece like this. Now, I've looked at it. I've got a warm and a cool palette here, so I'm going to select a little bit of this uh, cadmium red uh, paint here. I start by uh, taking my flow uh, expression tube and I want to make sure I get it primed. I want to make sure it's going to come out ready to go and not be blotchy. So I'll give a little shake so the container will force the paint to the tip and I'll be ready to put it down. It's just that easy. So here I'm just going to kind of work and add a little bit of excitement to it. I'll turn it around in all different directions. But this is the kind of thing that just gives it a little bit more edginess, and it kind of creates a little bit sense of more of excitement. Now, depending on how th where I cut the tube at, I can create a thicker or a thinner line. A really pencil-thin line will look great. So let me set that one off to the side. Let's do another one. See, it's just an average size painting. Real loose doesn't really mean anything, but I want to get a little bit more boldness in it. So I'm going to use a little bit of, let's take this one here. This is the 100 milliliter tube, and it's got a little bit thicker line, but I just want you to see one of the famous things that I do with all of my work is I do three dots. My three dots is part of my style, and I like to use that as a focal point. The three dots represent me, my wife, and my son. It's sort of like uh, how Carol Bernard used to tug her ear at the end of the show. That was her way of saying hi to her mom. So this is kind of my way of saying hi to my family. So m a lot of my pieces, if you look at my work, again, prime it, okay, and just put my finishing three dots on there. One for me, one for my son, one for my wife. So I've got a little bit of color there. I'm going to take a little bit of this red because I've got a kind of a red and a teal format going on. So again, I'm going to just uh, create a little sense of excitement with it. And it just makes the painting kind of really fire off. You know, it's a little bit more exciting, a little bit more visually pleasing. But more importantly, it's going to create some action to your work. I really believe in the four basic elements of line, shape, color, and texture. In this case, I'm really going to be able to exploit the line. Just a little squeeze out, some bling. The thing about it is it's so fun to do at the end, you've got to learn to edit yourself, to not go crazy with it, not let it overtake the rest of the paint. So just use a little bit at a time, and it just creates a little bit more excitement there, as you can see. We started out, again, with just some basic colors. It's kind of like this... Oh, I don't know. It's sort of like a really loose abstraction of a, a, maybe it's a sailboat or something like that. So let's just give it a little bit more excitement. Again, make sure you prime. Get that paint to the bottom of the bottle. That little bit of edginess that I like to incorporate in all my work. Now, if I was doing something, it's a matter of scale, I would use this on these very small paintings. I'll use a larger bottle that has a bigger diameter cut in it for doing something that might be, let's say, 18 to 24. Then I just might just use the whole full Lucas bottle here, of the Lucas Studio paint, if I'm painting large, because it's a matter of getting action into your work. 
you're going to get the action. You're going to put the bling on by just adding some of this stuff from the flow expression bottles. It's just an exciting way to bring a little bit more effect to your work. So uh, when you're out there and you're in the studio working, you want to add something really exciting, check out these flow bottles, put a little bling back into your abstract work. I'm Joe DiGiulio. I hope you enjoyed this free art lesson.